Recently, the Alabama House and State Senate passed bills, including HB 237, which grants immunity to IVF service providers. This legislative move was a reaction to a Supreme Court ruling that labels frozen embryos as children. Interestingly, this measure bipartisan support with both President Biden and former President Trump endorsing it. Despite this, HB 237 continues to be a topic of contention, especially among fertility specialists who worry it doesn't fully address the legal implications of the court ruling. The destiny of HB 237 is now in Governor K. Ivey's hands, who is expected to either sign it into law or veto it. The ruling has stirred fears of IVF services being suspended in Alabama, fears that have been validated by the actions of two IVF providers who have temporarily stopped treatments in the state. The National Republican Senatorial Committee has encouraged GOP candidates to oppose IVF restrictions, referencing public opinion against such measures. Interestingly, a Pew Research Center poll indicates that about two of every 10 U.S. births are a result of IVF. Yet the ruling has sparked ongoing debates within the GOP regarding reproductive health policies, with some pushing for more restrictions on treatments like IVF. This decision has raised legal questions concerning the disposal or implantation of unused embryos, creating distress and uncertainty. Doctors are now working to adjust treatment plans and ensure patient safety, while advocating for equal access to fertility care. The impacts of this ruling and the subsequent legislation could have far-reaching effects across the nation, setting precedents and shaping the future of IVF treatments. Alabama's new law protecting IVF service providers from legal action has ignited a wide-ranging debate and concern. The legislation, triggered by a controversial Supreme Court ruling, could have profound implications for the future of IVF treatments. As we wait for Governor Kay Ivey's decision, the future of many families relying on assisted reproduction is hanging in the balance. The hope is that these legislative protections will allow fertility clinics to resume operations, providing a lifeline to many families who rely on assisted reproduction. But as with any new law, only time will reveal its true impact. As we continue to monitor this situation and await Governor Kay Ivey's decision, we want to know. What do you think? Do you believe she will sign the new IVF law? And how do you think this will affect the future of assisted reproduction in Alabama? Share your thoughts, your predictions, and your concerns in the comments below. Your voice matters in this conversation, and we're eager to hear from you.